OK. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, this problem is going to pose us with a little bit of problem here. Because when, what we're trying to do is we're trying to create our perfect square trinomial, right? We need to solve by completing the square. So if you guys look at the problems that we previously completed, every single time we create a perfect square trinomial, our a was equal to 1, right? We always had a equal to 1. And that's one um, constraint that you guys have to have when completing the square. Your a has to equal 1. So how are we going to get around that? Or how are we going to complete the square when we have an a that's equal to 2? Well, one thing is you can always factor out that 2, right? So what we're going to do is first, just like we've done before, is get the 5 to the other side. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to, we can only complete the square, we can only complete the square when a is equal to 1. So I need to factor out my 2. Okay. Now that I factor out a 2, now I can complete the square. Because now I have x squared minus 5x, or minus 5x. It's still there on the outside, but that's just all sh you'll see how the 2 is still going to be a part of our problem. But for completing the square, we're, not, we're going to use it. So let's take a look at what's going to happen. I take my b, which is negative 5, right? Sorry. b divided by 2 squared. My b is negative 5. Negative 5 divided by 2 squared gives me 25 over 4, right? So we add 25 over 4 inside the parentheses. Right? That's what we've done before, correct? So we've always done before. Now here's our problem, or here's the issue that we need to make sure we understand. When we have, when we factored out a 2, that 2 didn't just like disappear. That 2 is still right there, right? So when I do my b divided by 2 and I add 25 over 4, if you're thinking about like lifting up this, all right, let's like find the value of this. Is this really 25, did I really add 25 over 4 to the side? Or is that 25 over 4 being multiplied by something? It's being multiplied by something, right? The real value, yeah, I know the value right here is 25 over 4, but the value on this side of the equation is 25 over 4 times 2. So if I need to have equal, equal values, I just can't say I'm going to add 25 over 4. I have to make sure I add 25 over 4 times 2. Yeah, look at that. So I'm just going to multiply it by 2 over there. Yes? Huh? Can you automatically multiply? What do you mean? Like automatically? Um, yeah, you could multiply 2 times 25 would be 50, and then 50 divided by 4, um, which is not going to work in. So what we're going to do is we're going to simplify this, which I'll get into. I'll get into reducing that in a second. Yes? Because that's not being multiplied by. All we did was we just moved that 5 over to that side. Just think, remember, all we're doing is we're just adding something on the left side and on the right side, right? So that, what we added to the left side is being multiplied by 2. The 5 was never multiplied by 2. The 5 was part of our original equation. But since I added the 25 over 4 and it was being multiplied by 2, if I add 25 over 4 on the right side, it also has to be multiplied by 2. All right? So now we can write this as a perfect square. So I take my b divided by 2, which would be x minus 5 halves squared, equals, and then yes, now we have some work to do over here, right? So first of all, 25 divided by 4 uh, multiplied by 2 over 1. You can just multiply across, which will give you 50 divided by 4, which you guys can simplify. Or you guys can also just say, well, if I divide the top and the bottom by 2, what I'm left with is 25 over 2. But then I still need to combine these, right? So do negative 5 plus 25 divided by 2. Get them to be the same denominators. Negative 10 plus 25 over 2 over 2. So I have 15 divided by 2. 
So therefore, I'm going to have 2 times x minus 5 halves squared equals 15 divided by 2. So now, what do we do? We need to divide by 2. 10, or negative 10 plus 25 is 15. Negative 10, where did I lose you? Do you guys understand my fractions? OK. So you guys see we have negative 5 plus 25 over 2. The only way to add fractions is if they have like denominators. So to get like denominators, I need to multiply by 2 over 2, which gives me negative 10 over 2 plus 25 over 2. When you add fractions, you add the numerators. So negative 10 plus 25 is 15 over 2. Okay, So that's my value right there. Then I need you to divide by 2 on both sides. So how do you divide 15, divide by 2, and then divide it by 2 again? Well, the way we do this is we want to get rid of our fractions. So we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. Because what's 2 times its reciprocal? It's going to multiply to give us 1, right? But you've got to make sure you multiply by the reciprocal on the top and the bottom. So therefore, you'd have 15 divided by 4 divided by 1, which is 15 just divided by 4. Okay, You guys are going to have to do this a lot. So hopefully you get used to it. So we have x minus 5 <laughs> squared equals 15 divided by 4. Then we now need to take the square root. Okay, so you have x minus 5 halves equals the plus or minus the square root of 15 divided by 2. Then you add the 5 halves to the other side. x equals, x equals 5 plus or minus the square root of 15 divided by 2. Ta-da! Isn't that great? Anybody have any questions or where I lost you or want me to re-explain real quick before I show off the video? Yes? Here? OK, well, remember I had 25 over 4. And then remember I had to add 25 over 4 on both sides. But remember, each 25 over 4 was being multiplied by 2, right? So just think about it. 25 divided by 4 multiplied by 2 is 25 over 2. 25 divided by 4 times 2. How do you multiply fractions? Put it over 1. 25, five, 25 times 2 is 50 divided by 4. That doesn't evenly divide into it. But if you reduce that, that reduces down to 25 over 2. OK? <clears throat> so then I have 25 over 2 plus a negative 5. And then we did the square root side. Hopefully, you guys remember how to do that. Now, this one is another added fractions. So again, the only, the only way to add negative 5 to 25 over 2, you got to get like denominators, So which is 15 over 2. Um, or when you add them up, so you get 15 over 2. But then you have to re-divide. That 2 is still there. So you got to divide by 2 on both sides. So 15 divided by 2 divided by 2 ends up equaling 15 over 4. Then, so now I have x minus 5 half squared equals 15 divided by 4. I take the square root of both sides. I can't take the square root of 15, but I can take the square root of 4. So it ends up equaling at, uh, equals plus or minus the square root of 15 divided by 4. Add the 5 halves to both sides. I can combine them, but I can't combine the 5 plus the square root of 15, but I can all put them over 2. Okay, It's a lot of work. It's some steps, definitely. 